Francisco today in San Francisco. She joins us live outside Moscone Center. Listen, we have been talking about the closures, the barricades. What is it like out there right now that the, the summit is underway? Well, Terry, if you walk around Moscone Center right now, you will see stacks of these barricades piled up and still waiting to be installed. Now, local leaders have warned the public that soon this whole area will be closed off to everybody except APEC attendees. And so that means for everybody else, there will be road closures and detours and yes, likely traffic. A group of CHP officers filed into a parking garage near the Moscone Center Saturday night, a garage that's filled with law enforcement from all across the state as APEC begins. Officer Among those in attendance, right world leaders, CEOs, and more than 20,000 people from around the globe. So security will be tight. But while Saturday was the first official day, many barriers around the Moscone Center are still waiting to be installed. With road closures planned and security zones, only summit attendees will be able to enter. About a mile away, San Francisco's Chinatown is hosting its second night market this week. It's amazing. It's absolutely extraordinary the number of people who came out. Okay. In the crowds, we ran into San Francisco Mayor London Breed. She's hoping those attending this summit explore the city for themselves. Every major city has its challenges, and San Francisco is no different. We're not pretending that they don't exist, but we also have so much happiness, so much joy in our various neighborhoods, including Chinatown, and that's why we have so many people here tonight and last night. APEC attendees and dignitaries were invited to this art and wine event at Blue Stream in Chinatown on Saturday. This is an art gallery where we have different artists who are of Korean descent. Uh, we also have a wine tasting out there in the bar, um, and these are Asian owned vineyards. Stuart Fong has been working with APEC delegates from San Francisco's sister city in Seoul, South Korea, helping them to see local highlights. I think it's important to, to showcase the city, and this is an opportunity for San Francisco to show itself that we are coming back. And the businesses that we spoke with said that they hope to see a boost in business, not only during APEC, but in the months and years to come as a result of APEC. Live in San Francisco, Alyssa Gord, NBC, Bay Area News. Alyssa